Welcome back guys, another PvP build on my Magicka Nappa this time with a classic mini bomb setup with detonation, soul tether and sapper sense with the new set Tarnish Nightmare. You know it, it's an insane amount of physical AoE damage, has an 8 meter radius, no delay and even procs the standard cells effect. With this setup Tarnished hits around 5 to 10 even 11k plus, keep in mind it's AoE, so probably stronger than a usual set like War Maiden or Shattering Fate, combined with the bomb set Vicious Death, what else? Decent amount of flame damage as soon as one target dies, and Balog as monster set for extra penetration weapon damage. Nothing too crazy here, like I said a classic midi bomb setup. Back bar, I just put a restoration stuff of potentates, but you can use any weapon here, doesn't really matter. Armor types, I'm on a 3 medium, and the rest light for the extra penetration. You can also put more into light if you want. Full divines obviously, best in slot for the extra crit damage of the shadow bundles. Full max magica glyphs, I already had here prismatic glyph. Then full infused on the jewelry, bloodthirsty should be better. Front bar, a lightning stuff. Simply for the 12% extra diode damage with this passive here, the ancient knowledge, lightning staves, increase the damage done with diode damage and chant effects by 12%. It's slightly better than two mazes or a 2 h more, but only if you have enough ulti points with Balrog. Otherwise, your penetration will be really low if you prefer a more comfortable playstyle, if you don't want to always push your Soul Tether up to 500 ulti points, I would recommend 2 mazes with Neon Sharp or a 2 h more in Sharpened. Quick look on the skills, pretty basic with Karma Hunter for the Major Prophecy buff, 12% crit rate, lots of minor berserk, then Silver Bolts and Barb Trap or Trap Beast, just slotted for the extra 3% weapon damage with Slayer, Zapper Sense or Sparable, Alternative Use Power Extraction, the Stamina Morph, Gives you minor coach, extra weapon spell damage, but you will have a ton of sustain issues with it. Mercer's Resolve for the powerful bow proc, and 300 extra weapon damage with 5 stacks, so always make sure to have 5 stacks before you bomb. Soul Tether or Ultimate, backed by Detonation, Shoot Offering is Burst here, Race Against Time for Minor Force. Conceit Weapon just slotted for Minor Expedition, gives now the movement speed buff on both bars. Way more comfortable with 15% movement speed. Shadow Disguise our cloak ability on the back bar, like this I have bar space for a fighter skill ability. And a second ultimate Soul Harvest just slotted for extra 10 ultimate for each kill. So like this I sometimes even have a second Soul Tether after a successful bomb. If you prefer defense ultimate, just use life giver as oh shit button. Ray Dunmar, better choice for this up would be probably Khajiit for the extra crit damage, but Dunmar or High Elf should be the second best choice. Mundus, like I said before, the Shadow Mundus for 17% crit damage. Vamp stage 3, Ghastly Eyeball as buff food for the extra magic curry curry needed. For more damage, you could even go with the green food. The green Max Magica food gives you slightly more damage but you will have a ton of sustain issues, will be hard to cloak. Vampire obviously for Strike from the Shadows, 300 extra weapon spell damage, add 3 points, everything into Magicka obviously, potion, the detection potion, NCP's Biting our Fighting Finesse, Backstab and Mastered Arms. Instead of Fighting Finesse you could also go with a good Overload for extra Oblivion damage after someone dies, but I prefer the extra 8% crit damage before I even bomb. Like this, have more burst damage. Recipes, Rejuvenation, Bonds, Vitality, Bastion, and Celerity. Make sure to use especially Bastion for 15% more damage against Shielded Target and Celerity for 10% extra movement speed. Recipes, also important, is this one here Sustaining Shadows, reduce the cost of Sneak by 50%, and this green passive CP out of sight, reduce the radius you can be detected while sneaking by 3 meters. Combination. First of all, make sure to pre buff yourself with 5 Mercer's Resource Stacks. Gives us 300 extra weapon spell damage, really underestimated, plus 500 ulti points for soul tether. Like this, we gain the maximum bonus of Balrog, which is over 11k penetration. Then pre buff obviously before it's against time. Try to always stay in cloak before your bomb. Then detonation. And shortly, around 1 second before the D2 procs, use tether into 7 cents. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.